welcome to another layout. Now, this one is, this one's a double pager, which I haven't done for ages. And I've got a couple of double pages coming up because I've got some subjects that I want to scrap with lots of photos in it. You know, I, I like to do a lot of, obviously I, I scrap a lot of artistic stuff, a lot of mixed media, all of that sort of thing. But sometimes it's all about the story. So you know, and the day or the event. So that's what this is. Now I pulled out my Kayser Craft. Um, it's called, it's a Kayser Craft collection. It's called Bottle Brush Collection. And I pulled out these two. Now, the reason I have wasted, and I use, and I, I got my finger quotes going here. Um, the reason I'm, I'm wasting paper is because this particular one I'm using here is actually directional. It's got a couple of cockatoos on it, so you <laughs> can't really put a cockatoo upside down and have it look normal. A lot of it gets covered anyway, but it's just, I wanted to do something a little bit different on the background, just so it blends in with um, the subject matter. Now, subject is my father's 70th birthday party. Now, we had his birthday, His he turned, my dad turned 70 in... On the 4th of June and we had a get-together and basically what we did is we hired a section of this beautiful place on the Redcliffe Expl Esplanade and at Sandstone, uh, Sandstone Point or is it Redcliffe? I'm not sure. It's near the lagoon and it was called, what was the place called? I don't even know what the place was called. Um, Mo something? Mojo. I can't remember what it was called, but that's irrelevant. The point is we all got together and we got, we managed to get my dad's best friends from when he was growing up. And we're quite lucky in the sense that they're all still here and they all put in the effort and came and, you know, a couple of them live up in Bundaberg, which is massive for them to come down, which was, you know, obviously dad's mate's he's 70 so they're 70 or 71 72 you know like so it's 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 a big effort to get them all together can you see the cockatoo if i put the cockatoo upside down it would look stupid right so see there's a cockatoo at the bottom and there's a cockatoo halfway up the paper but i wanted these colors they don't look very masculine but when you see the photos you'll understand there was actually a mural on the wall and we ended up taking up photos against this wall and these colors were in the photos in on the wall so it totally 100% worked perfectly it was it was beautiful it was a wonderful night it was very cold it was very wet it was raining something different for Queensland at the moment but <laughs> but it was good it was a beautiful night and i wanted to scrapbook these page these pages before I know I, I quite often scrap photos of my kids when they were younger and all that sort of thing and different occasions and all that sort of bizzo. But this one, I wanted to just get the photos off my phone and get them printed and get it scrapped. So I didn't forget and because I knew what I wanted to do with it. So because I wanted it to just be all about the photos. Now, whilst I'm doing this, this is as technical as this layout gets. I made this look very difficult cutting a couple of triangles but I just rolled the edges. So I distressed the edges a little bit to help me roll it. And then I just sort of rolled it and squished it down just to give a little bit of texture in the background. It's all I did. It's super easy. Quite often I find when you're adding lots of photos, and to be honest, I don't know how many I did on this one. Four, eight, 12. I think I've got 24 photos on here. Is that right? Uh, three, six, 12. Yeah, 24 photos. Uh, these photos measure two and a quarter inches by two and a half, I think, from memory, in case anyone's curious. And I do print my photos on my Epson printer. It is my Epson stylus. It's an 8700 now because I had to upgrade my printer because I killed it. I really did. Now these are my swatches, my Distress Oxide swatches. I don't use them very often because I just have an uncanny knack of knowing the right color. But these colors were sort of throwing me off a little bit and I actually pulled out my swatches. So I do have them and they're always there. 
I've zoomed out the camera a fair way. I do bring it in here in a minute so you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, now, this is my little tray that I've got a silicon mat cut up in the bottom of and it holds my ink so I can just use one hand and get the ink on my brush or on my dauber, whichever one I'm using, and it works a treat. I'm using my little, um, these are small blending brushes. I bought them ages ago. I absolutely love them. I saw them originally, I saw Natasha Foote using them and I thought, hang about, I could probably use those. And I probably don't use them as much as I thought I would, but I still love them, especially for something like this. So what I was trying to do with the title, which I've cut on my Cricut and the font that I used is in it was one of the free ones in Cricut Design Space and I just wanted to add two different colors now what I've actually used is peeled paint and iced spruce now I know going down wet it looks very bright but as it dries it tones down a little bit it doesn't stay it looks closer to the front of the ink cube ink container what do you call that <laughs> i'm having a blank moment it's sunday afternoon guys i've had a very big week um i don't know the ink container it, it matches down pretty close to that anyway so i used peeled paint i used ice spruce then i pulled this stencil this stencil is from um Scrapbook Fantasies, and it is called Carol's. Uh, it is called Carol's Flowers, and the number is seven six eight zero three seven. I will put that in the description below if you're looking for any of the the numbers or letters or whatever. All I did with the stencil is I actually went over the top of it. You can see there's some lighter areas. I went over it with bundled sage just to give it a. I wasn't trying to get a specific pattern on there, but it's just a floral pattern just to sort of break up the two colors. So it's not just an obvious blend. So it's actually the third one on top. Then I decided I was going to pull the, the, the negative off the, um, the Cricut mat. And what I'm using here is I'm using another small blending brush. This is actually the smallest one that I have. So the blending brush is coming in a three pack and you sort of get a large, medium and a small. This is the very, very smallest one. And I'm just using a little bit of scorched timber just to create a little bit of a shadow. Now you can see that I am leaving ink on my Cricut mat. Yeah, well, it's not, it's, it's a Cricut mat, but it's a, it's the um, universal one from from crafts online so don't panic about that if you want to do this it is not a problem it does not wreck your mat at all leave it there it gives you an extra hand it's fantastic and as you can see all the things i'm just sticking them down on here and it's giving me an extra hand and i do zoom in here a little bit i think see how i'm leaving that shadow behind spray of water microfiber cloth wipe it across it and bingo give it a couple of shakes it's dry put the mat down it's perfectly sticky again it doesn't ruin it at all if you do that with acrylic paint it will ruin it if you use lunar paste or something like that you can't wipe it off but distress oxide ink and distress ink it doesn't ruin it so and watercolor doesn't ruin it so go for it if you use any of the sprays, um, the oxide sprays, they don't ruin it either. So as long as you give it a good douse with water, give it a rinse off, give it time to dry, a few shakes, or I just use a microfiber cloth on it and it, it's perfect. So it's an ex, extra set of hands that we need in our, see, I just wipe over it and that's it. It's done. Now, what did I do next? So you can see on my photos here, I know they have 
little strips of post-it note all over them. I apologize for that, but if you can imagine, um, we had quite a few people. We had like 40 odd people at this event and there is no way in the wide world I could possibly expect all of them to allow me to put their faces all over uh, my YouTube channel. So my dad, myself, obviously my immediate family um, and my mum, I, I have them on there. I think they're the only ones, oh, and my, my Uncle Bob, he he doesn't have a clue about the internet, so he's wouldn't care less. He wouldn't, whatever. Um, so other than that, I have gone ahead and I've put the photos down in a row of three, and I purposely made my title to go all the way across. I do realize once I put the title down, you can't even see the cockatoos. I was so worried about the cockatoos. I should have just left it, but that's all right. I wanted to have a two-tone effect on there. It is super duper easy, guys. If this is something that you would like to do, um, it's fantastic. And I think it's a great way of getting lots and lots of photos onto a page. If you print, if you have the ability to print your photos smaller, Alternatively, I'm not sure, and if anyone knows, put it in the comments below, especially if you're in the US or Canada or um, Vancouver. <laughs> I've got a few in Vancouver, hi. Um, I've, if you know your local printing place, whether it's Kmart, whether it's um, here in Australia, Harvey Norman, Kmart, Officeworks, um, or, you know, your local printing places. I'm not sure if they print different sizes. I think Kmart prints three by four. Uh, but I thought this is why I love my home printer because with the Epson, it gives me a stack of different photo sizes that I can automatically go to and print like this. And it just makes it so much easier to work my layout around it. Now, I haven't used a heap of mixed media on this page because it's busy enough. This double page is busy enough. It is going to take pride of place in our album and it's just, I absolutely love it. I love how it turned out. And yes, once all these yellow and green strips are removed off all the faces, it looks amazing. So I will have photos over on the Facebook group and on Instagram. I was having trouble with my Instagram for the last two weeks. I've been having trouble with it, guys. Uh, two, two and a half, probably nearly three weeks now. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble. There goes, zoomed right in for you. I've just got my Uniball Signo Broad Gold Pen and I'm just adding some dots on there just for an added bit of shimmer. You know, it's a 70th. Come on now. So I just added a little bit of gold to the bottle brush that's on there, which is just a native Australian flower. And that is what I love about this particular paper pack from Kaiser Craft. It's very Aussie. It's very Aussie. So my fellow Aussies, it's a great one. Especially if you've had a backyard barbecue or something like that. Yeah, I reckon it would work perfectly. So I went along here. Now I left this in because I have had people say to me, do you ever journal on your pages? Do you ever write stuff down or date or anything? Yes, I do. I do. Normally I do it off the page, like off the YouTube channel, because I keep that sort of stuff private. But I decided to put it on here because I'm zoomed out so far. You can't really see what I'm writing. Nothing super personal is getting written on the front of this layout but I am adding something to the back of this layout, which, you know, that's all private, but I'm just writing it down the side. I'm writing something that I think is really important at an event like this. I'm writing everybody's name on there because how many times have we gone back through our parents' photo albums and gone, who in God's green earth is that? So, <laughs> you know, and that's about it. And then I just ran around the outside edge with some scorched timber. Now, I am just putting in some gold stickles glitter just around the title, just to give it a little bit of Karen pizzazz. I can't go too crazy because I had to stay re reframed. I had to, had to hold myself back. 
So this is it guys. Now, um, stick around for Wednesday's video because it's a, it's, I really like how Wednesday's one turned out as well. And it's getting back into, I felt like playing with paper this week. So, you know. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a an emoji if that's easier for you, especially if you're watching it on your phone, it's probably easier. Uh, alternatively, I will have all the links in the description below to my Facebook, Instagram, and buy me a coffee link if you wish to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will be back with you on Wednesday with another video, and I will let you know why this week's been so crazy. Thanks for that, guys. Bye for now.